Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to check out Turbo Overkill, a new retro style FPS developed by Trigger Happy Interactive and published by Apogee Entertainment. Apogee has been around for a very long time, as many of you may know. I've been, uh, well, I grew up on Apogee games, actually. Rise of the Triad, all the old 2D platformer Duke Nukem games and all that good stuff way back when and up until recently. And this is their newest uh, retro modern outing in the FPS genre. A lot of references in this, pop culture references. And full disclosure, of course, as always, I was sent a key for this. Not sponsored, but I was sent a key. Welcome to paradise. Very much a cyberpunk aesthetic as well. You've got that low poly pixel art style, which I actually really do like. Arrived at paradise. The Sin virus is rapidly expanding its reach into the city. Your assigned contract, purge the virus at any cost. Good hunting, sir. And apparently a chainsaw for a leg. <laughs> okay. Very fast paced so far. Nice and shiny, reflective surfaces. What do we got here? We've got a charge attack as well. There are Kimbo pistols. Hold left control uh, while moving to slide under a gap. Okay. Yep, there we go. What's this? Oh, it's just a light. Okay. We can double jump. Uh, sprint dash over... Okay, we should be able to double sprint dash. Right mouse to activate uh, current weapon secondary firing mode. Your magnum come already equipped with a lock-on firing mode. Uh, okay, let's try it. Okay, that was awesome. I got that blood dripping from the ceiling. Okay, I already love this game. <laughs> okay, we got no vaulting up, no climbing. That was awesome. Reminded me of the smart pistol from Titan 4. Okay, any other collectibles? Well, that made quick work of them. Use the chainsaw slide to kill enemies. The faster you slide, the more damage you inflict. So do I do I automatically Okay. Um, um okay. That's the thing. Yep, definitely. That's that, that's the thing. I... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we can jump slide as well. Very much like uh, Doom Eternal, it feels. The movement, very controllable. Ah, uh, we died. A lot of uh, mid-air move movement. So we can adjust our flight path. Oh, I love that thing. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that looks familiar. Look at this. What's that from? Leave in the comments below if you know where this is from. That's a nice little reference. Secret armor. 
E at the vendor to purchase items or upgrades. This gun shop, you can uh, use these to upgrade your weapons and buy ammo. This gun shop has a free upgrade available for your waster shotgun. Ooh, let's have a look. Electric boom hot deal. Ooh. Oh, okay. Nice animations as well. So this is early access as well, and there is a free demo to try the game if you want to give it a go. <laughs> so we can splice in our uh, or augment our bionics, uh, which I don't have any in my in my inventory just yet, as well as upgrade and buy and uh, purchase goods. What do we got here? Steady footing time between accelerated deceleration is increased. So there's some augments we can buy, but I don't have enough cashola. Uh, we need a blue key for that door. Okay, we died, but that was awesome, that shotgun animation. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like that. Uh. <laughs> Just quickly go over the graphic settings. We have post processing settings, texture quality, Gore high, of course. You've got to have your gore on. Camera shake. Uh, rain on screen. Display settings. We have set resolution, which is just the, uh, you can go retro 4x3, 16x9, 16 16x9 wide or full screen. And then you have your field of view slider, which goes quite high. V-Sync, weapon field of view, gamma, FPS limit. And uh, then you have the audio settings, which are just standard. It does have music as well. Which I have turned down slightly. I'll put it up a little bit. Oh, the music. Oh, yes. Oh, who makes this music? Let me know in the comment section below. I am digging this. Oh, digging this music. Hello? Hello? Oh, great. Boss time. Got him. 4 HP. I really expected to die then. Okay, we got him. Ah, oh, we still missed some collectibles. Oh, look at that. So I don't know how many levels there are. There's a handful of levels in the early access. Continued development, though. And really, actually, so very surprised how good this game is. Check it out on Steam. I'll leave links in the description. As always, full disclosure, they did send me a key. But uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if I spent my money on this. Oh, look at that.
don't forget to hit that like button and uh, comment what you thought of the game. And if you've uh, played it, what do you think? Subscribe, and I'll see you peeps next time.